you're seeing is what you probably typically think science class is for students. These are students at uh, Chicago's Robeson High School, but they're very special students. And my guest today, who I'm going to introduce you to now, is Dr. Zafra Lerman, who is the head of Columbia College Chicago's Science Institute and is the most special science teacher in the entire universe, as far as mm -hmm. I'm concerned. This is correct. <laughs> this is correct. Zafra, it is really good to have you on Chicago Wing. And we started out with students looking through microscopes. You have a, a different spin on the way students should, should learn science, don't you? Yes, I think students should learn science in a very interesting way. And what uh, we do, by the way, those are Robson students that are in the labs at the Science Institute at Columbia College. So they come to Columbia College. They come College to Columbia and College, and this is the lab you had seen. It's because we have a partnership with Robson High School to develop a Mass Science Technology Academy there that will attract students that want to come to this academy and we practically got married to Robertson High School for the next five years with support from the Board of Education of the Chicago Public School. The way we teach science is, sure, the students have to do experiments because science is a hands-on. But in addition, we integrate science with art, music, dance, drama. Joining me in this segment is Joanne Davis, who was one of Zafra's former students. Yes, that's correct. But as a result of your contact and Zaffer being a catalyst for positive change, to, to use a, a scientific term, uh, your life changed from one of tragedy to one of success. Can you share with us what happened, Joanne? Yes. Uh, upon entering or uh, enrolling into uh, Columbia College, one of Zaffer's class from Ozone to Oil Spills, from um, ozone to oil spills. From ozone That's to oil spills. That's the name of the class. That's the name of the class. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Where we as students have to come up with the project that's in our field. Mine is music. Mm -hmm. And uh, at the time she was announcing these, giving us the outlines on what we had to do, I was like, man, these kids are going to really, because, you know, I'm up there, you know. <laughs> oh, you're just and, a little uh, bit older yeah, than other kids. Yeah, just a little bit older than other kids. And I was like, oh, i got to come up with something. So, after being incarcerated for that length of time, three years. No, wait, incarcerated, let's back up. We don't know about that. You were going to Columbia College at the same time you yes, were serving a prison I, term. Yes, at a work release center. Mm. And I was released every morning to attend classes at Columbia College. And at which time I would have to go back to the work release center, which is nothing but a form of being incarcerated and sign in to make sure that I was in. But every morning I was let out to go to school. And I enrolled into Zafra's class, took it, composed a song. I come from a disadvantaged family and I got off on the wrong side in life, you know, mm -hmm. and I thought the, this is not going to work with my self-esteem being very, very low. Mm -hmm. Taking Zafra class helped me to build, rebuild my life and to turn it around. Amazing. Uh, I wrote a song called Try to Stop the Air Pollution, which I won once and went to Princeton and Indiana University to perform where professors at both universities was amazed. Now you performed, you composed and performed a song at Princeton. Correct. And Indiana University. Correct. And, and you were serving time. Time for offenses that you'd committed earlier in your life. Exactly. But you decided to take a course called from... Ozone to oil spills. That this lady taught. That this lady taught. <laughs> and that had a rewarding, that gave me just hope in life. Just more hope where a chemical destroyed my life and a chemi chemistry class rearranged my life. It gave me back hope. Wow. Wow. So I'm grateful. And uh, it's just amazing. She's really wonderful. She teaches us. She lets us learn. She doesn't make us learn. She lets us learn. And that's one good thing about it. She brings out all the creativity in one person. Where mine was on the burners, she helped me to bring mine out. And since then, I've been performing with her in community places, uh, science seminars and community affairs. Uh, once we did, a couple of times we did one with 
Paul Vegas, the, the CEO of the Chicago Public Paul Schools. Vallis. Paul Vallis. And uh, I've been enjoying American it. Chemical American Chemical Society. Society. Uh, so you you have totally emerged as a, a completely different human being. As a result of knowing and taking her class. Therefore, exactly. How does that make you feel? It makes me feel wonderful. This is what I say life is worth living for. If I could take, I didn't understand when Joanne told me that I have to write a letter uh, to get somebody's permission for her to go to Princeton and to Indiana. I said, whose permission does she have to get? But I didn't ask questions. I just wrote. I said, she did this great job. She has to go. The reason for Princeton and Indiana is that we get, the National Science Foundation funded this course to be developed in these three institutions. At these three institutions? Three institutions. Indiana University, Princeton, Princeton University, and, and Columbia, Columbia College, College. In Chicago. In Chicago. That's so therefore, why research. Columbia College students mm -hmm. flew to Princeton and went to Indiana. And suddenly Joanne says, I need permission. I didn't ask question. I wrote that she has to go. She uh, project now has when been... did you learn that she was really asking permission to be released, to go out of state? I well, think it was a year later. I took yeah. her out for lunch at the Hilton Hotel, and she suddenly said to me, do you know to him you wrote the letter? And I said, no. She said, you wrote it to the prison authorities. I said, why did I have to communicate to them? <laughs> Here I see this wonderful person that was working so hard in class, trying so hard, and then she told me all the story, how she was found, what, gun, drugs. <laughs> yeah, gun and the drugs, and at the time I was, too I was too ashamed to tell her. I was too ashamed to let anyone know that I, because after all, if you've been locked up, you seem to society label you as the degenerative in society, you know, and I wanted to somehow prove to m other people as well as myself that I could do it because of the things that I'd gone through, and I didn't like it, but now I love it. It was, it's, it's, it was, it's well, it was well worth it. And and the proof is in the pudding. The proof. Because is in the pudding. next year in June, you will be graduating with a master's degree from Columbia College. Correct. In arts management. Management performing and, arts. Well. And she graduated with a bachelor degree from Columbia on the Dean's List. Oh, definitely. Well, Don't Joanne, you, you are an exemplary example of, of what can happen when someone takes the time and their intent is to wake up every day and make sure that someone that they touch in life is touched in a positive way. I'm really uh, grateful for you coming well, on. And I appreciate being here, but I just want to say to the audience, chemicals destroyed my life, but a chemistry class rearranged my life. It made it better, thanks to Dr. Zafar Lerman.